Hey everybody, I'm sorry you glad just call me glad and this is still under my shirt. Oh and I went to go get a drink and some bread. We're back to more Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories for the Game Boy. Um last time we just started off the episode, Riku came to this place from his memories, and there's nobody here. Everything's empty. Cause he casts aside all his friends in his home. As well as the darkness, so that he has literally nothing. But anyway, get up. You can jump that high. I know you can. Anyway, I cleared out some of the rooms. I wasn't quite level 10. Um, I'm level 8. But I feel that should be pretty good for right now. Because otherwise, I'm going to have to keep recreating rooms. And so the courts everywhere. I have to keep recreating rooms, and I don't feel like doing that. So we're just going to head straight to the boss. And then the game's gonna get very repetitive and samey after that, so I hope everyone's ready for the ride. The cards you should see shall be the key. So anything that's five up, do I have any large numbers like nine? Oh, I do. I have plenty of nines. Let's get rid of you. And I cleared out like all the enemies in all the rooms. <laughs> I knew you'd return, Riku. Maleficent, you're alive? You haven't been paying attention. I am but a figment of your memory. Of all the people I could run into, it had to be you. Who else? Your heart is steeped in darkness. You can only see people who exist in that same darkness. People like me. No. Be grateful you have someone to keep you company. Your heart is empty. Were it not for the darkness in your heart, you would be completely alone. That's sounding pretty good right about now. Come now. You once clung to me to sate your hunger for darkness. You want me here. Who else but I can give you the darkness you long for? There was a time I did want you around. I surrendered my heart to the dark, but never again. You and your darkness have nothing to offer. All I did was lose myself, empty myself. I'm finished with all that. If I'm stuck seeing people like you, people of the dark, I'll take you out one by one. Then don't forget to take yourself out last, cause you, like me, are one of the dark. That's fine with me. I turned to darkness because my heart was weak. I hate that weakness. It's like I'm my own enemy. And seeing people like you embrace the dark darkness just makes it worse. Enough talk, Maleficent. So you hate the dark enough to fight it. Oh, the agony you must feel. Let me end your pain, Riku. End it forever with the wondrous power of darkness. I can't do the supreme darkness or whatever it was. Okay, yeah. Just like Sora, it is Maleficent, and we are putting on Defender. Even though it only lasts one reload, I'm about to run out. Come on. Stop moving your head. Yeah. This boss that was super, super hard. Um. Super, super hard at the beginning of, or at the end. I think we did floor ten. It's Hollow Bastion is either floor nine or ten. Okay, up. And just like Sora, break these, get a gimmick card, use that. Stop biting me. Easy. Excuse me. We'll grab this EXP because that's more important. Another level up, so we're level 9. And we get Dragon Maleficent. So I didn't actually get another AP boost because I guess it's every 5 levels and you just get it within 3 because whatever. But I raised my HP a little bit. Let's go DP because DP is going to be a thing pretty soon. I usually raise my DP round to round 30 before I feel like I'm good where I'm at. But yeah. So here's the thing about Riku's room. Riku's story as well. Notice how we didn't immediately head to the Conqueror's Respite. 
That's because with Riku, they decide, oh, you don't need that. You can walk yourself out. So, yeah. If you don't clear out the rooms and make the path at the beginning, um, then you'll have to make your path at the end. Unfortunately, usually the room that would be a Conqueror's Rest Pit is locked until after you um beat the boss. So, if, if you caught it, I have two cards in my deck right now. In my, at least in my enemy deck. Just use it. Um, yeah. So, V deck. Right here. So, you know, like I picked up a boss card, but I can't edit my deck, so I can't put it in there. The thing is, Riku's deck will always, always have the boss card that you unlock. So, say you beat the game, uh, or not, you beat the game, say you beat the next three worlds, which you can choose, all of those worlds' bosses, you'll get the cards for them, and they're automatically added to Riku's deck, so you can use them. And this one is pretty good for Riku to have, especially at this point, especially since the fact that it... his reload card is different than Sora's, unlike Sora, who has to stand in one place and, um wish upon a star to reload his cards. Riku's just reloads instantly. Every time. Doesn't matter how many times you reload, it'll just reload instantly. And so, with Dragon Maleficent, sacrifice reload speed to power up attack cards. Riku doesn't have a dif differentiating reload speed. So, this is pretty much the, one of the best cards for Riku right here is because you'll hit harder and because you're not worried about reloading, it's pretty much free of charge, and it lasts for three reloads, I believe. No, 20, or 30 attacks. Well, look at that. I one-shot the wizards. They were nothing. Well, that might be because I had strong initiative, but whatever. Ignore that. Um... Yeah, I'm going to get nowhere with the EXP here pretty soon because enemies are going to stop spawning and not the one I wanted. But again, pretty good because I don't know exactly how it boosts your attack, whether it's uh, like uh, incremental increase like by stat or if it's like increases your AP or, or if it um, like boosts it by percentage or anything and you suck at aiming that's a fire spell which homes in on me and you missed okay well come well i think i cleared out everyone in the room so that doesn't matter um one thing i want to do is where's my hp at 138 out of 140 i just need a couple of those little green balls if i can get them to come out of anything there is a boss fight right out this door so if you want to save, go save, because, yeah, I'm not going to, because that requires running back. But let's head out here. Why do you shun the dark? Oh, come on. I know you heard every word I said to Maleficent. Darkness is your weapon. I need you to accept it. What do you care? Stop resisting and accept the darkness. You must, if you are to serve me again. Ansem, just as I thought. You don't seem surprised. You always were chatty when it came to darkness. So let me guess. You want to pull me back into the darkness and play Puppet Master again, right? Clever boy. You'll make a fine host. Now, surrender to me again, and... You're insane. There won't be an again. Ugh. Did you really think you could harm me? A weakling like you couldn't even defeat Sora, and you had darkness on your side. Excuse me for being weak. You need the darkness. 
Submit. Bow to the darkness and bow to me. Not a chance. Only darkness can help you now. You're wrong. I can't do it, Mickey. That voice. Your Majesty, is that you? You betcha. Riku, you're not alone. Listen carefully now, Riku. The light will never give up on you. You'll always find it, even in the deepest darkness. But you have to believe. I can't do Mickey voice. Sorry. <laughs> I will. <laughs> Hear that? I'm not losing to the darkness today, Ansem. You think some feeble light can save you from the darkness I command? Fool! So this is a... He is about to smack me in the face. This is a boss fight in the GBA version. In the... Um, notice how I don't have Defender anymore either? Ah! In the original... Um, or not in the original. In the remake, they actually changed this. Uh, so this fight is a tutorial, and it's not a boss fight. And this is easy, because the Castle Oblivion deck is the best deck. Seriously, it is. That all you've got? It seems you are intent on resisting the darkness. Very well. See with your own eyes. What are those? They are cards crafted from your memory. Advance through the worlds they beget, and you will come to understand. Chasing the light will not distance you from the dark. You cannot run. Who's running? Give me the cards. I'll enter those worlds, and in the end, if I haven't given up, I win. I have one more gift for you. What did you do? I tempered the darkness that remains in your heart. What, you still think that I rely on darkness? Whether or not you use it is your choice. It kind of becomes not your choice, though. I'll be waiting, Riku, for you to y come to your senses and yield to the darkness. The darkness in Riku's heart has been fortified. He can now enter dark mode, mode in battle. Riku's dark points, DP, will fill as he takes damage or breaks opponent's cards. When the DP displayed below Riku's HP gauge reaches a certain level, Riku will transform in inner dark mode. Riku can only use slights while in dark mode. That's a big thing. He has one slight that he can use outside of dark mode, and that's with Mickey. Two, if you're playing the remake, they still require Mickey cards. Losing a card break or taking damage will deplete DP, and when Riku's DP reaches zero, he will return to normal. When Riku's DP reaches zero, that should be reaches. I just noticed that. Riku can increase his maximum DP upon leveling up. I've already done that a couple times already. With higher DP, Riku can stay in dark mode for a longer period of time. It maxes out at 99. And raises by three every time you increase by level. Have fun. Anyway, um, it's been about 13 minutes. Um, let's go ahead and right. Um, I was gonna go show off this dark mode. So let's see. Do I have a zero? I have a zero. Blue zero. I'm holding on to that for a while because I don't. Oh, I have two of these. Okay, I'll use one. Why not? Hit. Up. Oh, missed. <laughs> Again. Okay, Lift it. Okay. Let's see if I can do it. Come on, attack. I forgot what you have to get it to. I think it's like 30. You have to get it to 30 and break the 30 threshold. Uh, if they will let me card break them. That would be amazing. Up, oh, missed. Okay. 
I'll get another level too. So I will be level um 10 by the time I leave. Um, there we go. Yep, break 30. And so... There's a lot more things you can do in Dark Riku. He gets all the slights. I'm taking you immediately. Um, he gets... All his slights are immediately available to him. Uh, I can show those off too. Uh -huh. So we have Dark Break. Leap into the air and attack enemies from above. Only available in Dark Mode. Takes three Soul Eaters with any value between 5 and 15. Dark Viraga. Expel Dark Energy in a Searing Blast. Only available in Dark Mode. And it's any value from 16 to 25. And Dark Aura. That scary thing from Kingdom Hearts 1. And that um, Riku Replica used on you in Sora Story. Rush enemies repeatedly with Blade in Hand. Only available in Dark Mode. Three Soul Eaters with a total value of 27. You need three nines to use Dark Aura. And it's not that great. It's really not. You're better off using Dark Fire Raga. Dark Fire Raga covers all bases. Dark Break is okay. But again, Dark Fire Raga is the one you're going to be using the most. Because it's the easiest one to usually get with the cards they provide you. And it's overall the best. But anyway. MM Miracle. So, Mickey Mouse Miracle. The King restores HP and stuns and deals damage to all enemies. It's the King. And this is level 3 if you have three, card, 3 cards. I know how to do the count. The King restores a lot of HP and stuns and deals damage to all enemies. And that takes 3 King cards. I kind of showed it off. Most bosses are immune to the stun though, so... Um... Don't be expecting it to just work on everything. But it's it's very useful though, because it will reload cards. I don't know. I don't remember if it can reload uh, like unreloadable cards, like the high potion I have right. Now. Or is this just normal potion? That's normal potion, like a high potion or mega potion or anything. Um, but yeah, it does give you back your cards, and it also. Sad to say, is one of the only ways for Riku to ever heal in this game. He has two ways, and a third comes with um, the Vexen card, which allows him to revive. I don't even get a hello, Lexus. What's going on, Zexion? I demand an explanation. Nice to see you too, Vexen. You know, it's deplorable. The organization used to be the rope that binds us. And now it's all full of kinks. How dare you! Let it go, Vexen. Zexen, tell us. What did you detect? Visitors. I picked up two cents in the castle's lowest basement. One of them was Maleficent, but... Absurd. The witch is gone. She cannot return from the realm of darkness of her own volition. If you'd, if you'd let me finish, the scent belonged to a very convincing double. But I can't say much beyond that, since the would-be Maleficent is no more. Our other visitors saw to that. Who is it? I don't know. But the scent was very similar to the superiors. Exactly similar, if I may say. Rubbish. Fact. Vexen. Now, what shall we do? Let us bide our time and see what develops. By the way, they talk a lot about um, darkness and sense. Something tastes kind of funny. What is it? It's so familiar. Darkness. The taste of darkness. What's happened to me? The darkness even seeps into my senses. 
Don't you worry, Riku. Yes, you're gonna get that this whole playthrough. Your Majesty. What happened to you? You're all fuzzy. I can only send a little bit of my power here. But I have a request. A request? From your Majesty? Riku, don't let go of yourself just because darkness has a hold on you. This is gonna be hard. Fight the darkness inside you. It won't be easy. But don't forget, even in the deepest, darkest darkness, there's always a little light. Light within darkness? You and I have seen it. The far off welcoming light inside the door to darkness. The light of Kingdom Hearts, Riku. It will show you the way. Please don't give up. Believe in the light. That's all I ask. Please, that's all I ask. Okay. I'll try my best. And I'll try to find a way to reach you. I'll come. I promise. You're an illusion? My hand passes right through you. But we shook hands in our hearts. We're connected, you and me. I hit the button. Yeah, I guess so. Bye, Mickey. Castle Oblivion, Basement 11. Alright. As you can see, we've started our journey as Riku. It's not going to take that long. Riku is more tedious than anything. Because the very first thing you'll notice when I start the next episode is... Riku's floors, except floors 1, um, 1, B, no, B12, B3, B2, and, no, B1's, B1 only has one. Every floor except for B12, B3, and B2 all ha only have one room. They all have just the key to beginnings, and it automatically unlocks the boss door. So Riku's fight is a lot of... Just get to the boss. Just get to the boss, fight the boss, and that is it. There's not too much to it. Most of everything happens between floors. And especially, um, boss, like the more interesting boss fights, the more unique Riku boss fights. But anyway, I shut off everything for right now. So thanks everyone for watching, and next time we'll open up. What worlds do I have available right now? Um, Agrabah Halloween, uh, um, we will go wherever I decide, back, and that's where we'll go. Thanks everyone for watching, and see you! Uh.